Hi, my name is Joseph and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be working on how to control this robot arm using four potentiometers. Everything in today's project is very simple and easy, starting from the code, the circuit, and the device we will be using in this project. And please, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with all your contacts. So, let's get started. Well, for this project we are going to use an Arduino board, I'll be using Arduino Uno, four potentiometers, the robot arm, some jumpers, and one breadboard. I'll be using a mini breadboard. Okay? So, what I'm going to do now is to is to fix the potentiometers into the, the breadboard. Okay? I'm going to fix them into the breadboard. Just to help me to make the connections. Yeah. fix them and make sure that they are well fixed okay make sure that they are well fixed so after fixing the potentiometers into the breadboard now what I'm going to do is to connect the positive and negative channels of the breadboard with 5 volts and GND of the Arduino Uno of the Arduino board it's very important for you to make sure that the positive channel is connected uh, to the 5 volt of Arduino and the negative one is connected to the GND of the Arduino board. Okay, it's very important. All right. Now, after connecting the the 5 volt and GND, I'm going to power the potentiometers with 5 volt, 5 volts and GND of the Arduino Uno. Make sure that you're connecting all the device according to the circuit, okay? And you can download it on the link below the description. So now as you can see the positive and negative pins of the potentiometers are connected to the 5 volts and GND of the breadboard. So now what I'm going to do is to connect the middle pin of each potentiometer into the Arduino board. Okay, we are going to use the, the analog port of the Arduino to connect the potentiometers. Make sure all the connections are according to the circuit, okay? Yeah. So now I'm going to connect that middle pin. Into the Arduino Uno. Using the analog ports.
Okay, now the pins are connected. The fourth potentiometer I'm using is very different. You don't need to use a potentiometer like this one. I'm using this one because I don't have one like the ones I use. Yeah, that's why I'm using this one. And as you can see, the 5 volt is the middle, the, the, the middle pin. So it's very different. It's a kind of module, something like that. Alright, all the potentiometers are connected into the Arduino. So now what I'm going to do is to connect the, the servos into the Arduino board. But first I'm going to connect the 5 volts and GND of the servo. Okay. First I'm going to connect the 5 volts and the GND. Okay, then the third pin, I'm going to connect it to the digital port of the Arduino board. So as you can see, the connections are very easy, very easy and simple. Yeah, actually very easy. So connecting to 5 volts. G and D and then the third pin into the Arduino board okay following the circuit according to the circuit Alright, now the, the circuit is done, okay, the next step is to upload the code. Okay, before to upload this code, okay, this code you can also download uh, on the link below the description. The first thing you should do is to make sure that the, the Arduino is connected to the computer, okay. okay. Okay, so now let's upload the code and it's done. Okay, once the code is uploaded, what I'm going to do is connect a 12 volts adapter to power all the circuit. Yeah, so let's see how it works. Nice. As you can see, everything is working perfectly. Okay guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.